Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Um, listening to the uh, parliamentary statements and the press conferences the uh, new governor has given over the last couple of weeks, he really emphasized that what matters for the Bank of Japan is price momentum and the broader economy. So there have been a lot of speculation as to whether the Bank of Japan would dial back its yield curve control program, the policy whereby they peg the 10-year government bond yield at around 0%. That's been blamed for causing market distortions, but where has really emphasized that it's really about the economy, it's really about prices, and that uh, that trumps other considerations. They will try to rein in side effects, but um, what matters is really what happens to the economy. The things there are not looking so rosy. Um, recent economic data has been a little bit choppy. Still a lot of uncertainty around what's happening with prices, and um, the recent banking woes certainly haven't helped matters. So they had lots of reasons to hold policy steady today. We'll get more clarity once we'll see what um, is going to come of the policy review that they've announced today. The trick there is, of course, how to pull that off without giving the impression that they are not necessarily going to move. If if you do that, then the market is going to is going to move against you again, which might amplify those bond market jitters we were talking about earlier. And we got a core a Tokyo CPI earlier this morning, along a raft of other economic data points uh, in the BOJ line. So I'm seeing here that they have removed forward guidance that pledged to keep interest rates at current or lower levels. So uh, they don't want to provide this forward guidance anymore. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, you're right. It makes the forward guidance, um, it gives it a little bit more of a neutral tone, doesn't it? Um, the previous statement that they would keep interest rates low or, or see them at even lower levels um, gave it a sort of uh, easing bias, and that has been removed now. And with that more neutral stance, you can now go into the policy review. It's true that um, inflation coming in this morning, um, core and core core and super core inflation um, overshot expectations a little bit, but it doesn't really change anything with regard to uh, what the BOJ is doing. The inflation Japan is seeing is entirely uh, driven by imported uh, energy and food. Those are obviously imports that Japan is quite dependent on, and those prices surged over the last uh, year and a half, and that's something Japan is still contending with. The pass-through to consumer prices in Japan is very, very slow because corporations are concerned about losing customers because domestic demand is so weak, and that is really what the BOJ is looking at. For them, the question is, is the cost-push inflation that Japan has seen, is that going to turn into demand-pull inflation? Is it going to turn into the good kind of inflation that um, is driven by stronger demand, by stronger domestic wages? And um, the, the jury there is still out. We've got uh, a very strong Shoto result for spring wage negotiations this year, but that still leaves wage growth down in real terms. It doesn't keep up with inflation. And there's no guarantee that the strong gains we're seeing this year are going to continue next year. So that's why the BOJ um, uh, will want to stay on hold and will want to mod monitor the situation for a little bit longer.